I'm going to show you how to buy several rental properties using the same money over and over and over again. Chris from New York, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, folks, and this is the show on Holton Wise TV where I personally work with you one-on-one -on -one to help you start, grow, build your real estate portfolio. It's going to start with the education, right? You go to HoltonWise.com, you click the Property Search for Sale tab, you click the MLS Search Analysis Show, you order one analysis video or a package of several, right? We sell them in three, four, and ten packs. After you buy it, we send you an email within 20, 24 hours, 48 hours if we're talking business hours, right? Because uh, I personally actually field those and I personally reply to you and I send you a list of uh, things I'd like to know about you, right? So if like you buy it on like a Friday night, you know, I, I might not get to you in 24 hours. It might be like early Sunday morning, but it might also be Monday, right? Anyway, <laughs> outside of that though, so if you don't get the email immediately, just don't think that something went wrong. I got it. I'll reply. And I'm going to reply to you. Uh, with a whole slew of questions about you, right? Because I want to know you. I want to know what you want to do, right? I want to know your wants, your needs, uh, your goals. I need to know your risk tolerance. I need to know how much money you're working with, how you got that money, right? Is it cash? Is it a HELOC? Uh, did uh, your uncle loan it to you, but he wants it back in six months? You know, all these things, right? I'm, I'm going to try to learn as much as I possibly can about you. And then what I do is I try to, to fit you with a property that I think would best fit you. And these properties, they could be listed by any of the real estate agents in the greater Cleveland market. We have over 5,000 of them, right? I don't work for those sellers in these situations. I work for you and I work for you alone. And uh, if you like the deal, if you like what I've pieced together for you and you want to use me as your buyer's agent, uh, I can do that. And then after we close my company, Holton Wise, we can handle the the renovations, the property management, we can even handle the insurance, and we could even handle the title work uh, in between, right? So we could do it all. Or you could just take the information and you could do with it what you will. You could go directly to the seller, directly to the listing agent, work with a different PM. It's, it's whatever you want to do, right? We're an a la carte service here, right? And my client today, investor, real estate investor from New York City, all right? Chris, you want to do some burr deals and you want to only burr single family homes. I think you like the fact that uh, typically the tenants stay longer and single family homes, you know, they usually have a wider uh, buyer base when you actually sell them down the road, right? Because you can sell them to investors, but you could also sell them to owner occupants, right? And as far as cash goes, you got $125,000 to work with. You're a pharmacist. Uh, so I know you got a six figure income coming in, right? You're married, dude. Uh, not to get into your personal life, but that is important here, right? Because in your personal name, you could do 10 mortgages, and then you're thinking about possibly having another 10 mortgages in your wife's personal name. Now, I presume both of you live together, right? So between the two of you, we probably have another 19 mortgages to work with, okay? And we want to stretch your funds uh, pretty far. We want to stretch them as far as we can. But the one thing I do want to mention to you, Chris, is the, the Burr inventory, right? Uh, Burr inventory is, is going to be a little harder to come by uh, than just other inventory. So because you have such a high-paying job, I would encourage you to open up your criteria to include other deals that I think will work good, will be good Section 8 single-family rentals that may or may not qualify for your traditional burr because you'll see a lot of the price points are very low here in Cleveland. You can get into a lot of these deals with like 15, 20K down. And, uh, you know, opening that up, I could really, you know, fill out your portfolio in a, in a quicker basis. Or if you want to just only do burrs, that's fine. We can do that. Uh, just know 
uh, the, the frequency in which I can provide you videos is going to be fewer and farther in between, right? It might take a month or two months or three months to get you a video. And then, of course, not every deal is going to go down, right? Because maybe sometimes the sellers are not willing to accept a purchase price uh, that will allow you to actually do a burr, right? Because we got to create that wedge, right? We got to create that spread. We have to create that gap between the after repair value and what you've got into it, right? Which all of that, brother, leads me to the property I've got for you today, which if this goes down how I want it to go down, we will create a very nice wedge uh, to pull off a very good burr. 4499 West 137th, Cleveland. Just hit the market today, okay? When we try to do these bird deals, bro, we got to hit them quick, right? Because by nature, these are probably properties that are priced uh, very, very well uh, where there's some money to be made. So other people, man, they're like a, a pack of wolves. They're going to try to come in. So we got to move fast, brother. 52900 is what it's listed at. And this, my man... This is like the ideal easy burr. This is the easy man's burr, right? Because we don't have to worry about the big ticket items, right? It's a small home, just a little slab, and it's two bed, one bath. Nice, solid blue collar neighborhood. Already has the big ticket items taken care of, right? This AC unit, dude, that's looking fresh. Don't think we're going to need to spend any money there. And there is a lot of homes in the greater Cleveland area in these C-class neighborhoods that do not have central air. So you are actually an outlier when you have central air, and that's going to lead to higher rents, and more importantly than higher rents, it's going to lead to tenants not moving out very often because you usually have to bring the window units, right? And then we get into the home, and it's hard to tell... Uh, it looks halfway decent in these pictures, but I would assume up close, uh, these walls do need to be painted, patched, uh, and the floors need to be refinished. I know sometimes people see pictures like this and they think, oh, man, it looks like it's freshly done. I I'm assuming that's not the case. Uh, it's just it, it can look nice in pictures because you're far away. But when you get up close to it, right, like where the tenants are actually going to be or when the home appraiser is actually going to be up close, you'll see a lot of nicks and scuffs. So in my renovation budget, I've budgeted for us redoing that, right? And then this is where your money's going to get spent, right? This bathroom, right? Totally outdated. Floor is outdated. Vanity is outdated. Tub is a little off or the, the toilet's a little off white. So I'm assuming that needs to be updated. Tub, same thing. We're going to do the tub shower surround, right? So we're going to spend some money there. And then, like, you could see some imperfections here on the floor, right? Like, you could see it's, like, super dark right there. You know, we got, like, a broken blind right here. So, yeah, from six feet away, it looks okay. But up close, I'm assuming some work's going to need to be done there. And then, like, this room, right? Like, your dad's. Uh, 1985 wood paneling, like, dude, when I see wood paneling like this, all I think about is, like, a living room that smells like old tobacco or something, you know? Uh, that's not gonna fly. And then this is where the rest of the dough's getting spent. It's getting spent in this kitchen, right? This floor, not gonna work. These cabinets, not gonna work, right? We gotta update this, right? These cute little, uh, I don't know what the fuck those are. Maybe fucking sunflowers? That shit ain't gonna fly, right? We're gonna have to take care of that, right? But, our big ticket items already taken care of for us. Look at that, dude. Look at that hot water tank, probably only a few years old, and this thing looks freaking shiny new to me, right? So this is ideal burr. All we have to do is go in, hit the floors. Gonna sand them down, put a dark stain on it to cover a lot of those imperfections. Then we're gonna put some poly over it so if you know, the tenants have pets, they pee on the floor, it doesn't seep in, make the home smell. We're going to hit the walls. We're going to hit them with an agreeable gray. Entire home, right? So we're not going to see some sunflowers, right, in our kitchen. We're not going to see the 1985 tobacco wood paneling. We ain't going to see that, right? It's going to be all agreeable gray, white trim. And then we're going to do new Home Depot or Lowe's quality cabinetry and countertops in the kitchen. All new vanity, uh, reglaze the tub surround, new uh, toilet in the bath, and then the bath in the kitchen will have matching vinyl flooring, right? So we're going to be able to do all that for 20000 and I want you to come in close to list price here, right? It's listed at fifty two nine, but I think we could probably take it down at forty five. At least that will be the goal, right, because you're a cash buyer. So we're going to try to come in forty five plus twenty, right? $65,000 investment. After that, we'll get a $900 a month Section 8 tenant, right? Because we're going to have a nice-looking home. We got AC. Should be no problem getting a tenant in there at 900 Now, this neighborhood, this is a pretty solid C-class neighborhood, right? We have had great success doing uh, cash-paying tenants. But, dude, I love the Section 8 tenants, man, because no matter what hits you, 
that rent's coming in, baby. Like, dude, it's coronavirus, right? COVID, right? You know, you know who still pays the rent during COVID? The United States of America's government, okay? They still pay that rent. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. So I love Section 8, man. It makes your rentals much more consistent. So I would say we go Section 8. We do that. I anticipate an average expense of 415 coming out a month, leaving us with 485 in our NOI. And a couple things I want you to take note of, right? Three line items, 540, 540, and 540. Repairs, maintenance, CapEx, vacancy, and non-payment of rent. The deal is actually probably more profitable, especially in the beginning, than I'm actually leading you to believe with this, right? Repairs and maintenance. We ain't going to be doing $45 worth of repairs every single month, brother. What that is is me making you save $540 a year, right? Like that money's coming to you. We're still sending it to you. But I want you to, in your head, know you got to put that in a special bank account. Don't consider that cash flow. Don't consider that profit because eventually, eventually a tenant's going to move out. We're going to have to do another turnover, right? That's what you've been saving that money for. Vacancy and not payment of rent. In this business, eventually someone will stiff you on rent. We can never eliminate that risk. We can mitigate it, right? That's why we use Section 8. Man, I consider Section 8 like the cheat code to real estate investing. But, hey, I still want you to know that eventually someone's going to stiff you one day, right? So that's what you're saving that for. And then CapEx. That furnace, baby, that was fucking beautiful, man. Nice, new, shiny, right? But, dude, in 30 years, you're going to need to spend three grand on another one. That hot water tank, a few years old, they last about 15 years. Spend a G. The one unknown we have with this particular property right now, by the way, is the roof. I think it's like mid-life uh, based on the photos. They haven't said anything uh, about it, so I don't think it's, it's fresh. I think it's like mid-life, right? Uh, it's a small home, right? So we're probably looking at like a $5,000 roof, maybe four, four or 5000 uh, Maybe we got 10 years left. Maybe we don't, right? Uh, so you're going to have to, you know, see what the home inspector says about the age of the roof, but you got to remember, eventually you're going to have to spend that money, right? Is it in 10 years? Is it in five? Is it next year? We'll find out, but know that that four or $5,000 bill, uh, would be coming. If it turns out the roof is totally trash, by the way, uh, that will give us reason to possibly go back to the seller and maybe we try to readjust. If we got it under contract at 45, but then we find out that roof needs to be replaced next week. That gives me ammunition to go back to that seller, renegotiate for you, maybe try to drop that price down another two, three, four, five thousand dollars, right? So keep that in mind, right? So all that said though, five thousand eight hundred twenty dollars is your average anticipated return. With the fact that we would buy it for forty five, spend twenty fixing it up, you'd be all in at sixty five K. That would put it at a nine cap, and then of course that's uh, takes us to the financing, right? That takes us to the burr. That takes us to the fact that we could reuse this money over and over and over again, folks. So if you clicked on the video because I said we were going to recycle the money and then I talked about this property and you're like, what the fuck is going on? Where's the part where we recycle the money? This is that part. We're at that part of the video now where I tell you how to recycle that money, right? You spent 65, okay? We're going to do what's called the burr strategy, folks. B. Buy. We bought the property. R. Renovate. We renovated the property. R. Rent. We rented the property. Here's the other R, the biggest R. Refinance. We're going to take this fully renovated, tenanted property to our lenders. I have a whole list of lenders. Sales at Holdenwise.com if you want access to them. 30-year loans, fixed interest loans, tax-deductible loans, okay? Investors in all 50 states, the United States of America, you want access to my lenders, sales at holdenwise.com. Send us an email. My team will get them to you, right? We're going to take this to our lenders. I believe our lenders will appraise this property at $75,000 without issue. Should be no problem getting to appraise for $75,000. That's a $10,000 difference, okay? We put sixty five dollars into it. We're getting it to appraise for seventy five. dollars They do that. They will loan us 75% of the value, which is $75,000. So they will give us back. 56250 thus leaving only 8750 into the deal, making this a 34% return on your money, and we got that 56250 back to do the next deal, and the next deal, and the next deal, till ultimately we get you and your wife up to a portfolio of 19 properties, right? So you have $125,000 in cash right now. Dude, like, 
if after this all works out in the way I want it to, that leaves you after this deal, you're going to have one cash flowing rental, which should be kicking off well over $240 a month, right? 248 was the number. Your goal was 200 a month, right? So we would surpass that by $48 a month, and you still would have like what, $117,000 of your original nest egg to work with. You're making, like, what would that be? You're making an average of $3,000 a year on this. I know you got the six-figure income coming from the pharmacy job. So you can see how you could easily excel your portfolio and build it up very quickly if you're, you're recycling that money and using a very small amount. And plus, I mean, with your income, I'm sure you're able to stack more and more dollars onto that original savings plus with it being accelerated from the additional new cash flow you could really create you and your wife a valuable rental property portfolio in a relatively quick amount of time so chris if that makes sense to you you like this deal you want to move forward we're going to have to move quick it's a solid property uh we're going to get a lot of traction on this one i'm sure that seller's field and offers uh as we speak right so uh, reply all to this email. I got myself and some team members on the email. Uh, let us know if you'd like to make the offer. We'll get that written up, sent out to you, and we'll begin the negotiation process with the sellers. Now, if for some reason you don't like this deal, that's cool, brother. Just let me know why. Give me your feedback, and I'll take that into account when I do your next video. And, uh, you know, if I got to shift gears to get you something that fits better with what you want to do, I will do that. Everybody else, you want to work with me in the same way my man Chris is doing? You go to HoltonWise.com, Property Search for Sale tab, order yourself an MLS search and analysis or a pack of MLS search and analysis today, folks. And last but not least, new viewers, if this is the first time you ever watched one of our shows here on HoltonWise TV, do yourself a solid and smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.